Welcome back. Uh, I said I would do this album next. Uh, Death, The Sound of Perseverance. Uh, this was an album that I didn't think I would ever get on vinyl. Uh, I really wasn't a fan of Death back when uh, I was just getting into metal. Uh, and it was one of my friends, Brandon, uh, who really introduced me into that side of metal. Uh, and this was the last album by Death before uh, lead singer and uh, guitarist uh, Chuck Schuldiner sadly passed away uh, in 2001 uh, with a prolonged battle with a brain tumor uh, and it sucks because he never really got to see how, how big this album really got uh, it really didn't uh, catch uh, until he passed away uh, but it is Honestly, I think it has to be one of their best albums. Uh, it's one of my favorites uh, from them. Uh, one, I think the second favorite would probably be Spiritual Healing. That's also a really good one. Um, but, getting into it. Uh, this album released in 1998. Uh, it has... Uh, we'll go with the track listing. Uh, this one, uh, it's got two discs, four sides. Um... Scavenger of Human Sorrow, Bite the Pain, Spirit Crusher, Story to Tell, Flesh and the Power It Holds, Voice of the Soul, To Forgive, to forgive is to Suffer, A Moment of Clarity, and Painkiller. Um, I think Spirit Crusher was the first song I ever heard off of, um, off of this record. And that song really introduced me um, to the style um you know chuck's high voice uh the way that he could really scream with it uh the sound of perseverance really shows that um and then flesh uh and the power holds is the second song um and it really just the raw power that he has bef behind his voice um even in their early stuff too like uh, scream bloody gore and he, uh, even you know leprosy as well uh really just he packs a punch uh, the guitar work is very thrashy. I mean, it's, you know, 80s, 90s, so you're going to get, you know, a lot of fast riffs, um, you know, pinch squeals, solos, all that type of stuff. Um, and this is... It's great. Um, if, you like, if you like fast thrash um, uh, and, you know, just hard licks and shit like that, this is the album for you and if you don't know thrash all too well this is um i think this is a great place to start um with death in general not even the sound of perseverance uh just death in general uh, but let us get into it inside we have this nice picture of all of them uh chuck is this one in front and the notes that it talks about um, it says at the end of 1995 after death had completed the symbolic tour Chuck decided that it was time for control denied to become a reality uh, and it just goes um, on about uh, the track listing and everything else uh, Sound of Perseverance closes the final chapter in the legacy that Chuck had left behind and it will only continue to grow over time as a future generations discover the meaning of perseverance through the eyes of a genuine musical genius. The spirit in these timeless compositions will keep his memory alive forever as history has proven time and time again. A true art created with a true heart never dies. Um, and uh, I did buy this as uh, a re-release uh, with um, a colored vinyl. So um, really cool. I uh, actually got this uh, this past year, I think. It was this past year or late last year uh, when I got this. Um, I got it off of a website that does re-releases. I think it was, uh, might have been an indie merch store. I think uh, that's where I got it off. Um, so inside of here, got a few posters. Standard. I, just, I see this death picture everywhere. It's like their, their standard one. Open it up fully. You got that. All their pictures. And then you have 
um, the little, not little, but the lyric booklet uh, and everything else. So it was really cool. Um, it's got the credits. Um, who Chuck thanks, who Scott thanks, Richard thanks, Shannon thanks, special collectives, you know. Um, yeah, really cool. I, I sometimes pull this out and just look up a picture of Chuck because Chuck is uh, one person that I, I wish I could have the the talent that he had uh, for both singing and guitar playing. Um, obviously, back there, I've got my bass and guitar. Um, I use ESP. I have a, a B series five string and then uh, M two back there as well. Um, going into the album, uh, yeah, Chuck was a. Uh, he he just had something about him that I, I when I found it I really liked uh, his the way that he plays. Um, and thrash is something I wish I could play too fast for me currently uh, on guitar. I, tr I tried learning um, Spirit Crusher on bass because it's got a really cool bass intro. Uh, it's kind of fucked, but it's, but it's okay. But here is what the vinyl looks like. Fucking sick as shit is what it is. Uh, and I, I was so happy uh, when I when I got this, I think this one had a limited amount of copies, and as soon as it dropped, I was like, I gotta fucking buy this, um, because it it just looks so fucking cool. Uh, they also they had a, a, a flat red one as well um, to go with the sound of perseverance. But I said, you know what? I like this one, and I don't have I don't have any that have like the the weird um six points on them so I thought why not I've got a few splatter variants stuff like that but um, this was really cool I show uh, I showed my dad this and he was like oh, that's really cool um, but yeah I th and the other side I want to say is red instead of black um, on the uh, points but it's been a minute since I've opened this album uh, the vinyl and most of the colored ones I have I don't play um, just to kind of preserve them. I actually have one. Uh, I do have a vinyl that I haven't opened, um, and that's a that's a special one. I'm I, I might do that one at some point. I'm not gonna open it then on that video, but I am I might go over it. Um, that one's probably never gonna be open. It's got a few rips in the uh, in the plastic on the outside, but I, I probably won't open that one. Uh, it's it's special. It's a, it's a Motorhead album, so. But here's the second one. The red, it looks orange on camera, but it's like it's reddish pink. Um, but yeah, it is very cool. Uh, I will say, uh, if again, if you do want to listen to Death, I feel like this is a great way to start. You know, even thrash in general. Um, Two posters I have hanging up, they're not thrash. Um, that one, this one's the Rings of Saturn poster. Uh, it's very like technical death funnel. And then Brand of Sacrifice, that was their new album, Lifeblood, that came out this past year in January, I think. Um, I do have that one, I have a variant of that one. I might go over that one at some point too. But yeah, that is The Sound of Perseverance by Death. Um, if you don't like thrash um but you appreciate guitar work um i would recommend listening to the song voice of the soul it is the is that the uh seven track seven track on the album voice of the soul uh it's an acoustic track mostly um it's got a a few you know electrical solos in there here and there but um I, I would recommend just listening to that song. That song, the first time I, I heard it, um, wasn't the first time I heard the album. Uh, I, actually, I, I knew a little bit more death at that point, and I went back and listened to Voice of the Soul, and there's, there's a lot of, lot, lot of emotion 
in, in that song. Um, especially if you know guitar playing, um, you, you can tell when there's a lot of emotion. Uh, and even in that song, there's no, there's no lyrics. It's, it's just a straight instrumental. Uh, and Voice of the Soul, I, I, I did shed a tear the first time I heard it, um, you know, knowing you know, at that point then what, what Chuck went through. Um, it's, it, it, it hurts. It, it packs a little bit of a punch to it. But um, yeah, that is The Sound of Perseverance by Death. Um, I might do the Motorhead album next. I might not. Uh, I might do the Brand of Sacrifice one. I might do that one. I like that one. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can find um, maybe something new, too. Um, I've, I've, got a, I've got like three crates of vinyl uh, to go through. Um, I can do... I've got a few in mind. Um, so I, we got Motorhead, a Motorhead album. Um, I've got um, a Dire Straits album, which I kind of wanted to do. Um, and then a Tenacious D album, uh, which that one I also thought about doing because that one's kind of cool. It's not my favorite Tenacious D album, um, but it's got a really cool color to the vinyl. So I also thought about doing that one. Um, yeah, I've got a few. Um, I guess let me know in the comments below. But, yeah. Sound of Perseverance by Death. Go check it out. It's a, it's a great fucking album. Thanks for watching.